Welcome to the introductory tutorial to the OnCell App Builder. We'll quickly show you the basics of the builder so you can begin building your own smartphone app. Our platform is an easy to use drag and drop interface that allows you to easily build pages in your app, add content to them, and edit as needed. Once you've finished building your app, you can test and publish your app to live. On the right hand side of the builder, you'll see a list of pages in your app. Use the scroll bar to locate pages or use the search bar to filter pages in your list. Click on the page title and that page will appear for you to edit. At the top of the page list, click New Page to create a brand new page, or click Copy to create an identical version of an existing page. You can easily edit a page by dropping content blocks or widgets above and below each other. Add a new widget to a page by clicking the green Add Widget button. This will drop a widget onto the page for you to begin editing. Make your edits and don't forget to click Save. You can delete a widget by hovering over it and clicking the red X button. Click on any existing widget to open up the editor panel on the left. In this example, we've selected a new image from the library. You can change the name of a page title at any time by clicking on the gray header button at the top of each page. Click on it and enter your new page title. I'm just going to change the name of this page back to the word home. And just for one more example, we're going to add a button widget to this page. Click on the green Add Widget button and select Button from the list. This will drop the button widget onto the page and open up the editor on the left. Type in the button text, select a link from the pull-down menu, and click Save. And remember, you can always drag and drop the button or the widget above and below other items on the page. And I'm just going to go ahead and click the red X button to delete this widget. You can preview your app at any time by clicking the green preview button in the upper left. This will open a new window in your browser and give you a live preview of your existing app. Testing your app in your browser allows you to easily test all the links in your app to ensure it flows exactly as you'd like it. It also allows you to check for any broken links in your app. At the bottom of your app, you'll see global navigation buttons. These are the main pages in your app. To set these buttons, we'll go back to the app builder. Along the bottom, you'll see the global navigation buttons. Click on any button to open up the editor. Select an icon and choose which page to link it to. You'll see the new icon update in the inline preview. You can publish your app to a test URL at any time. In the upper left, click the blue publish button, click test drive, and click publish app. You'll see an alert window appear in the bottom right of your screen. When your app is finished publishing, you'll see the URL and a QR code. Click on the link and that'll open the app in a new browser. Your test app will be available for view for 48 hours. You can share the link with your colleagues or anyone to get feedback on your app. Click on the Library tab in the upper bar to upload and manage files. The Audio tab explains how to access a recording line and allows you to upload the audio components of your tour. The Image tab allows you to manage and upload images to your project. Click on any name to rename, delete, or replace existing files in your app. The Video tab allows you to upload videos to your tour. Before you publish your project to Live, you'll want to go under Project Settings in the upper bar of the project window. Under General Settings, you can change your project name, upload an app icon, change your app URL. This is the URL in which your visitors will enter to find your app. You'll also choose the Start page, which is the home page of your app. Generate QR codes to promote your tour. Change the look and feel of your tour by selecting from a variety of themes and fonts. Use the Languages tab to build a multilingual app and to turn different languages off and on in the builder. Use the Project Users tab to invite other people to join your project. Click the Add User button and you'll be prompted to enter additional email addresses of the people you'd like to invite. 
Under the Service Agreements tab, you can locate the terms in which you've agreed to to start your project. You'll need to accept an agreement before launching your app to live. Under the Alerts tab, you can set GPS Alerts and Location Aware beacons. Click the Back to Pages button to return to your app. When you're ready to launch your app, click the blue Publish button and on the right hand side, under Live, click the Publish button. That's it for our intro tutorial. Keep an eye out for new videos on how to use the OnSell app builder.